Secretary Wing, welcome to the November UTA. Joined with the Command Chief, Chief Ratliff, and on my left is Sir Walt from the Medical Squadron. Many of you are familiar, I've seen this room before, this is our immunization section in the medical clinic. And, uh, we are well into flu season, and yes, we did a great job last month uh, giving out the flu vaccine. I appreciate that. And I know we're giving uh, the flu vaccine out again this weekend. And uh, for real quick, so how long have you been with the, the I've been here at the AMDS with Westover since January of 2018, so coming up on four years here. And you are the NCYC? Um, yes, we, we can say that. Yes, yes. I'm one of the AGR flight med techs here. And I hear you're one of the smoothest. Uh, That's what they say. Oceans. Yeah. <laughs> Right, Chief? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Chief, yep, Chief's got flight, the flu shot, I got the flu shot. Yes. All right, awesome. And uh, CDC is saying this could be a pretty bad year for the flu. Yes, uh, so they look at what the Southern Hemisphere was like, uh, you know, places like Australia, and they uh, they, they had a bad flu season, uh, came early, uh, you know, earlier than normal, and we're kind of seeing that up here as well. Sure. What does the, the vaccine do for us uh, to help us? Um, I would say with the flu, we have to remember that the flu vaccine is just a small part of, you know, protecting ourselves against the flu. A lot of the basic hygiene stuff that we're taught very young is also important when it comes to trying to not get sick. You know, washing your hands before and after eating, washing your hands after the bathroom. Those kinds of things are very important when it comes to trying to protect yourself, yes. you and your family. So, obviously, some of the same things we got used to during COVID as yes, well. Yes, sir. Same thing. Uh, the rules still, still apply if you are sick. Do not come Stay to home. Do not come to the base. I know you may think you're, uh, you want to get to work and you got to get something done and you're going to let the team down. You're going to do the team more harm coming to work mm -hmm. sick. So yes, sir. Please, please stay home and, and let your supervisor know. Also, I appreciate it. Thank you for everything uh, yes, for the clinic, award winning clinic. Yes, sir. Uh, by the way, thank you. Yeah, no just a couple notes that I have. Uh, so for those who may not be familiar with some of the, the state laws in Massachusetts, the, the use of marijuana is legal uh, in the state of Massachusetts for recreational use, but uh, if you are in the military, it is not uh, compatible with military service. So we've seen uh, a couple of cases of individuals positive for THC through a urinalysis, random drug testing. So please, uh, there's a, just so you're aware, uh, several locations around the base, about three or four, the snowboards, uh, mm -hmm. please uh, make, make smart choices mm -hmm. when you're uh, either in Massachusetts or, or even at home, please. And then also, on the fun side, we got Christmas coming up, yes. the holidays, December UTA, that Saturday, we're going to do wing, we're gonna do wing commander's call over the base hangar, so that'll be at 1300, some more information on that. And then that's going to be followed uh, by, if you remember last year, we did a Christmas parade. Mm -hmm. uh, went off very well. Huge success. Bring the kids out. Yes. Have all the vehicles out. I'm, I'm hearing May Santa, Mrs. Yes. Claus may be around. I'm not sure. So we'll see. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and then that's going to wrap up. Uh, that's going to go right to the base hangar for uh, a kid's uh, Christmas party. All right. So that's going to be around 1500 or so. So that's December UPA. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, coming up soon. All right, Chief. Uh, Patriot Wing. Well, thank you, sir. Well, Patriot Wing, welcome welcome to the November UTA. We're so glad to have you here today. And just have a couple of things. Uh, don't forget that this weekend uh, we have the CCAF, CCAF graduation that's taking place over at the Base Conference Center that will take place on Sunday at 1300. We also have the Chief Induction Ceremony that will take place on Saturday. So, um, we have some chiefs that are going to be inducted on Saturday. We've got Chief Gonzalez, Chief Stager, Chief King, Chief Ashton, and Chief Martinez. So if you see them around campus, please tell them congratulations on a job well done. Lastly, if you're looking to get involved, please reach out to the Rising Six or the top three. Those are two great ways to get involved, learn some more things that are happening around the base and have crosstalk with people that you may not have met uh, otherwise. And the last thing I have, as we enter the holidays, we're, we're approaching those. Please remember, do not drink and drive. And if you need a ride, don't forget about our Airmen Against Drunk Driving. They're here to support you. If you need a ride, call me. I'll come and get you. But please do not drink and drive. Be safe. Stay safe. We definitely want to see you November, December, and many months to come. 
That's all I have, sir. All right. Awesome. Uh, you have my shot. Did you need a shot? I, I've been practicing. No, I'm, I'm okay, actually. No, no I just got to do it. He didn't want us to do it, sir. <laughs> and that's it uh, from the uh, medical clinic. I just want to say uh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Yes. Thank you to uh, you and your family for your service and your dedication to this country and to the Air Force and the Air Force Reserve Command. So hopefully you get some time to spend with family and friends uh, over this uh, Thanksgiving period. So Absolutely. That is it. All right. Have a great day. Take Bye. care. Bye.